Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got a very exciting new drop from Clash Discs. I've got the brand new Tone Cookie. The cookie is a 7502. It looks like it has like kind of all of the rounded edges and rounded characteristics of a disc that would be understable. And Clash actually, before they even really launched any of their discs at all, sent me all of the original prototypes. And I remember pulling the cookie out of the box and thinking it was going to be a very understable disc again, due to those sort of rounded characteristics that I had mentioned before. But the cookie is actually quite stable and flies very true to those flight numbers. I have another 7502 disc here to compare it to, the Innova T-Bird. And then I also have the Ring, Steady Ring uh, cookie. We'll be comparing that to this one as well. So let's give everything a quick throw. Um, I haven't thrown this one yet, but it seems to be the tone stuff is more understable than um, the same mold in other plastics in most cases. Initial thoughts, that seems like it's still stable, but it's a slightly straighter cookie than the glow cookie or the prototype cookie I originally had. Actually, it flew pretty similar to the ring cookie. Then let's see how it compares to T-Birds. I got a one with and one without flight numbers. The cookie's pretty much flying the exact same as the end of a T-Bird. All right, let's go grab everything. We'll throw it back. I'm curious to see if the um, two-tone one is more understable than the ring one. Oh, that's so bad. If you rip it hard, it goes pretty straight for a while before it fades. I do have a bit of a headwind coming in. Let's see how the T-Bird compares to that cookie. Oh. All right, that T-Bird basically turned all the way over. And we've got the old school, super old school 11 time T-Bird. This one was always one of my favorites in my collection. I'd go out on a limb and say the uh, cookie is more stable than a T-Bird. The T-Bird also coming in at a 7502, I thought was a pretty fair disc to compare it to. All right, let's take it to the other side. Let's go with some forehands. I'm really curious to see if this is stable as well on the forehand line. It's just a nice, solid, stable, do it all fairway driver. Very similar to the T Bird for me. That's the ring. All right, I need to backhand this because I threw the last backhand like straight into the ground. So I do need to give the tone one more backhand and then we'll forehand it back one last time. Oh, there we go. It really is just a really good stable mold. But what's so weird about the cookie is it just has those smooth round features of like Roadrunner, uh, Sidewinder, Discmania TD, but it's just so much more stable for some reason. I will say, I think the ring one is better. It seems to be a little pushier, but just as stable. All right, we got pink T-Bird. The T-Birds really are just a bit straighter, but they do go a bit farther because they're not as stable. I have to shout out, use bin find, 11 timer. Do not see these every day. But look at the flight. Love me a good old 11 timer. All right, let's forehand them back one more time and then we'll close out the video. All right, it is absurdly hot right now. I'm gonna do four more throws and then I can wrap up today's video. Two-tone cookie. It seems to be nice and stable, unlike the two-tone salt. Oh, look at that flex. Flex. Put that on a lot of power with touch of Anheuser. 
and it's got all the integrity in the world to just go super straight and then come out. It's a pro, that's what like a pro level fairway driver is going to fly like. Just so straight the whole way, not wanting to turn much and then having a little fade at the end. I feel like that's what most players are looking for, or at least most pro players are looking for in their stable fairway drivers. I launched that one into oblivion. That's the ring one though. I don't think you guys care about that one as much. Now we've got the T-Bird. The T-Birds really do just push straighter. I really didn't expect that because the T-Bird is beaded and the cookie is not. But the cookie even is a little bit more stable than a T-Bird. All right, 11 timer, last throw of the day. All right, went a little New York Yankees on those last couple of throws. But as far as the two-tone cookie goes, put a really nice rip on it. Just went absolutely dead straight for a long time. And then just had a very little, right at the end, that little bit of fade. 